Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here. Little second channel video for you today. I've made quite a few changes around the studio and I just wanted to do a little studio tour, an updated one. I also picked up a couple of things from town today, a little Game Boy pickup, which I haven't done in quite a while. So uh, yeah, let's have a quick look around the studio. So I've hung a couple of things up on the wall. Uh, this is a little Roadrunner picture that I picked up today. If anybody knows anything about this, I would love to uh, to know. Um, it's got a little bit of a branding down in the corner there. It just says trademark Warner Bros and then S02. Um, and it's kind of got a bit of a texture to it, although I don't think it's actually like a painting. I think it's a print, uh, but I really like it. Roadrunner was a really cool cartoon, which I'm sure everybody's heard of, but I used to watch it religiously when I was younger. So I've moved this up here. A couple of little uh, things up there. It was quite a mess up there before, so I've moved some of that. Still got this thing up here, this article from a local newspaper. Um, in the cabinet, I've changed a few little things around. Uh, new pickups, I've got this. This is a Hello Kitty um, Game Boy Pocket, which is in a completely different box to what everyone's probably used to seeing it in. Um, but it's kind of cool, it's an Imagineer Game Boy uh, Pocket. Um, these are all in box protectors, besides this one at the back. Still got my Game Boy Pockets there as well, and I've got a long cartridge now as well, which is really cool. That was sent in from a viewer. Still got the clear, smoke clear um, Game Gear. This level, nothing's changed other than I've whacked the uh, Game Boy Micro there and nothing's changed on the bottom layer either. And then moving over, big change, I've got this thing now. This is my uh, collection of slightly more desirable and rare and I guess you could say expensive um, Game Boys and things that I really like keeping in a dust free, hopefully, environment. So a bunch of Game Boy Pockets on the back, I've got the uh, ANA one, um, Emerald, Lions, Toyota and then just a Hello Kitty one. A couple of uh, slightly rare um, Wonderswan games, which are two of my favourite Wonderswan games ever. This is a Wonderswan sent in by uh, Matt Lazarus. I did a uh, little trade with him or I bought some stuff off him and he sent me that as well, which is my actual, actually now my daily play Wonderswan unit. Um, I've got the Astro Boy Game Boy Lite, which obviously I've recently refurbished. And we've got the Toys R Us one. We've got the Minuet Game Boy uh, Tetris and then te Shrek 2 video, which is actually really expensive and hard to find in the UK. That was sent in from a viewer as well. Then we've got the Imagineer Game Boy Pocket. This thing is locked, except the keys just stay in it. Um, Long Boy, Mini, uh, Pocket Sprite, Pocket Sonar. And then this was also sent in by a viewer to my PO box, which is really awesome. It's a little 3D printed sign. For the most part, this is all exactly the same. Don't think anything's changed there. Um, I put my play buttons up. This one is just the one that I bought from eBay, so it's not actually got my name on it. Uh, although that is my one, and there's my silver letter. Other new pickup, I've got this little bonsai tree, which is really cool. It sits on my windowsill. Got a bit of a problem pile going on down here. This is loads of stuff that I need to make videos on. Um, so yeah, I need to get through quite a lot of that. This is probably going to be a video that I'll also do today as well. And obviously I've changed the on-air sign. Some of you may have noticed. This is uh, just a lot easier and it's made out of plastic as well, so it's not so fragile. Right, let's have a look at what I picked up today. So this is it. It's a Game Boy Advance SP. I also picked up some orange juice from the fridge. One of my five a day. So, I picked up Sonic Advance, uh, this is a boxed copy obviously, and it's in really good condition. I think I spotted a little rip earlier just up here, but that sort of stuff doesn't really bother me. Um, it's also got a bit of a sticker residue, which is a bit annoying, and then I think somewhere, uh, maybe it's on this one, there's a little bit of mankiness. Uh, there it is. What is that? In fact, I don't think I want to know, but yeah, these both in box protectors will look great. I also picked up Doom, which I've never played before on the Game Boy Advance, so I'm quite excited by that. Um, Sonic Advance 3, I think, is the one that I played a lot of when I was younger, uh, in a slightly orange cartridge. I'm not actually 100% sure, but it definitely wasn't that one. And then I also picked up this. Now, I paid £100 for everything, which I think is quite expensive, but the condition that this, these items are all in makes it, I think, worth it. Um, so again, this has got a couple of tears on it. One here and another one there. I'm not sure if the camera's going to focus that close up, but that's not too bad, I don't think. 
Um, but yeah, look at the edges of it. It's, it's gonna look absolutely mint condition in a box protector, but this isn't the one that I had when I was younger. I had a silver one, um, but I wanted to pick this up anyway, just because of the condition that it's in. So there's the actual Game Boy. And then here's the charger. That's all nice and in the box as well. And then finally, we've got the leaflets and stuff at the bottom. So you've got the um, seal of quality stuff. Oh, look, it even has this little thing. Don't think that code does anything on Nintendo VIP, but feel free to try it out. Uh, really cool um, that this all comes with it still. Nice high quality little piece of card. And then we've also got the warnings. And then... At the very back, we have, I think this is a little sort of poster. So on this side, you've got some of the Game Boy Advance peripherals. It's weird that they're like upside down at the top there. Not really sure why that is, but yeah, so that goes to show. Oh, I suppose it's because it's like actually literally how it would be. You've got all the link stuff. And then on the back, we've got the games. Did I have any of these? I had this one. Uh, I've played a hell of a lot of that one, but I don't think I had that one. I played that one. Although I don't think I had it. No, literally out of all of these, I only had that one. In fact, it wasn't even mine. That was my brother's. That's kind of funny. But I've played most of these now at this point. So then here's the actual Game Boy itself. And it's in really good condition. Probably one of the best conditioned Game Boy Advances SPs I have. Uh, you can see there's pretty much no scratches on the top. A little bit of uh, something, but it looks to be rubbing off with my thumb. Just a little bit of a spray of something. Most likely saliva. Weirdly, there's a bit of gunk in there, but again, that can come out all easily, but the stick is perfect. There's not even a lot of scratches on the inside of the cartridge port, which I'm sure you can see. And on the back edge here as well, if you look at yours, if it's quite worn, these two little nubs are worn down. So yeah, really, really pleased with that. So we've played Sonic Advance before on the channel. Let's have a little look at Doom, because I've never played this one. Oh, look at that, Zoom. Oh, lovely. Honestly, I need to just play, when I play games on the channel, when I've done a refurb or if I'm reviewing a game or something, playing on this top camera is an absolute nightmare because it means I'm having to like, the screen is flipped out. Let me see if I can show you why I'm so bad at games. The screen's flipped out like that. So my neck is like stretched back and I'm trying to keep the device nice and flat. So that's literally what I look at. I know that just sounds like excuses, but playing it like this would be far more logical. I'm definitely gonna start doing that because it's, it's just far more logical playing it like this. Right, here we go. Oh, this looks fantastic. Oh, this looks really, really good. Yeah, this is fantastic. Never really like these sort of this sort of style of control. It's a bit weird. Ah, oh, you like accelerate as well. How do I? Maybe I can't do anything there. Let's go this way. Ah, oh. wow, that like moves you side to side. That's kind of cool, actually. I mean, we get the idea of it. It's just Doom, but I just wanted to see what that looked like on the Game Boy. And uh, it looks rather good. But yeah, this Game Boy is absolutely beautiful. Really, really pleased with that little pickup. I think I just need to wipe the top off with a bit of Mr. Sheen, and that is going to look mint condition. Well, I hope you've all enjoyed this little video. Uh, thank you for stopping by and watching me open the Game Boy Advance SP that I just recently picked up. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of all the stuff that I bought. If it, is £100 a reasonable price? Do you know anything about my Roadrunner picture? Um, bye! <laughs>